Ever wonder what you would do to break up a dog fight if needed? Next, some tips from a dog trainer. Live from Denver 7, this is 7 News. Believe it or not, this is Take Your Dog to Work Day, so you may be doing double takes at work because of four-legged friends at the office today. To tell us how to make dog visits a little more pleasant to, uh, for the co-workers or a pleasant experience no matter where you may be with other people is dog trainer Kathy Plord of Bark Busters. Welcome, Kathy. Nice to have you here, as well as your two buddies who are going to help us with a demonstration. Who are they? This is Kanai. He's a seven-month-old husky. He's just a pup. And Mystique. They are beautiful. Thanks for being here, buddies. All right, now, we want to make these dog visits pleasant experiences for people who don't have dogs or don't want to be bothered with dogs. So perhaps we should be bringing things along, like this Kong. Maybe you've seen these in the stores. What else would you suggest people take? Buster cubes are great because they're a, a, a food puzzle cube, so it gives the dogs something to think about and do. Plus, they get a treat at the same time. So these are, these are great. Another toy that's really fun um, that we sell is called a Canine Genius. I will just hand this to Canine because he loves it and so he will sit on his bed and try and get the treats out of that the one thing you have to watch with dogs with treats though is that they're not aggressive over mm. their food so you want to make sure that he's fine no matter who takes that from him are there situations you want to avoid if you take your dog to work or with you to the coffee shop well definitely you have to know your own dog um, and know whether your dog truly likes other dogs or not and it's a stressful situation. These guys seem pretty calm, but they're really, they're Barkbuster dogs, so they're trained, but some dogs aren't um, comfortable in, in unfamiliar situations. So right. know your own dog. Know whether his body language is telling you he's aggressive or stressed or happy or what. So just be tuned in to them. And I noticed that you brought a pillow, which I'm sure Absolutely. can I really appreciate. <laughs> and we'll get to the blanket in a moment. But the idea of bringing a pillow, if you have the opportunity, is what? Well, bringing his, his pillow with him to any place where he goes, a workplace or whatever, it gives him that sense of comfort, a bit of home. He's, he's comfortable being there laying on his, his bed. So he um, feels like he's a, a bit at home, so yeah. he's, he's comfortable in his situation. I notice you don't have pinch collars or any sort of choke collars. You don't nope. believe in those methods. How do you control a dog? You know, everything we do is about um, the proper leadership first mm -hmm. with dogs. Dogs have to understand that the humans are actually the ones who are in charge, and they respect and love you. They'll do what you say. So we just do verbal corrections just to let the dogs know that they've done an unwanted behavior. Um, but it's not about um, any force downs or... Um, any pinch collars. It's just a little bit of a tug that lets her yeah. know that I'm in the wrong place. You I got do her right attention thing. right away. Right. Now, inevitably, there may be a dog fight. I was walking my dog in the park, my dog on a leash, when another dog came up to it. Mm. What do you suggest to avoid a dog fight? You know, I have a lot of people ask me that because there's so many people who have their dogs off leash when yours is on leash and you're doing the right thing. Number one, there's a leash law for a reason, but you know, there's a couple of different things that can work, especially if you're outside. I suggest that people carry maybe a fanny pack with some dog treats in it. If a dog's coming up to you, take some of those dog treats out, throw them the other way. The dog's generally going to go for the treats and leave you alone. You can go on about your way. Um, a water bottle, we, we use these water bottles a lot, full of water. You need the kind that the top opens and it's full of water and you just spray it right in a dog's face. It's a big stream, it's not a squirt bottle, but it's a big stream of water just all of a sudden sort of disorients the dog and they go, oh, okay, you know, you can knock it off. If it's a big fight inside, the thing with a blanket is that if the dogs are really fighting, you just don't want to reach in there and grab them because they're going to bite just not knowing it's you. They just are biting something. Right, so keep your hands out of the keep situation. Keep the hands out of it. First of all, I always suggest that a dog's on a leash because you can always grab that leash and give it a right. bit of a tug and get them back. But if it's just really getting nasty, thank you, Bertha, you can just throw a blanket over them because once you throw a blanket over a dog, see, she's disoriented and she's going, what the heck? They're right. going to stop fighting right. with each other to figure out what... What happened? Exactly. Very interesting, Kathy. Yeah. Very interesting techniques. Well, we have a link to Barkbusters. If you want to know more about this, go to our website and click on that big red TV button. Let's send it back now to Mitch. Thank you.